I get to work with hundreds of adults who are making art and get creatively blocked. And what I've found is that there's one really common and surprising thing that gets people blocked when they're making art. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one creative breakthrough calls with the students in my art studio. So I know that this is a theme that I've seen over and over again. They come to me and they're like, oh, I'm really struggling in drawing. I'm really struggling in painting. And they're showing me the picture and they're like, oh, it just, you know, doesn't look the way I want it to and this and this and that. And they're not coming to me to learn technique. That's what the teacher is for. They're coming saying, I feel stuck, what do I do? And the place that I often turn to that they are surprised by is, well, what is the reason that you're here making art? Why are you taking this class? Essentially, I'm saying, what is your why? What is your why for making art and taking an art class? And when you connect to the why, the block often dissipates. When somebody says, oh, I just really can't get these shadows to look the way that I want and I'm not very happy with it. And I say, well, what's your why? And they say, well, to have fun. I'm like, well, are you having fun right now? And it allows them to let go so strongly of the product. Oh, it's not about the product. Or maybe it is for you, but so many adults that are taking art classes, it's actually not very much about the product and they're not planning to quit their job and sell art full time. What they want is to express themselves and learn and grow and be supported by a community and see what they're capable of. And that really different why creates a really different relationship to the art process. But a lot of times adults, we're so serious and we just are so results driven that we think it needs to look good or else, or else I'm not doing it right or else I'm a failure. And the truth is, it just depends what your why is. If your why is to have fun, then you're not gonna be a failure if you're having fun. You're actually failing when you make it too fucking serious and miserable to have fun. So you can see how connecting to your inner why for why you make art, can really inform what's actually blocking you. Are you blocked because you don't know a technique or how to make the shadows the way you want? Or are you blocked because you're not having any fun because you expect yourself to be an expert professional artist after a month of taking classes, right? Like this is actually what happens to adults more often than not. So I love giving them permission to come back to their why and what feels fun for them. Why are you here and how are you doing that in your art class or how are you not? And then course correct.